All right, now uh, we're closing in on Christmas 2019. Dean Phillip in New Zealand has had a lot of hours, like closing in on 300 hours on his 701. We had a Viking 130 engine. And as you've seen on all the YouTube videos, he does nothing but full power takeoffs and stall competitions and, you know, running it hard because that's what he is all about. Um, very competitive in nature and showing off his airplane on YouTube and, and winning the Healthy Bastard stall competitions against the uh, very, you know, highly souped up and, and uh, sometimes turbocharged uh, competitor engines in, different, in, in similar airframes. So he has now decided, uh, just because there is a, a turbo version or a beefier version of the gearbox to send his back, so far, uh, he has uh, no issues with this gearbox, but because the upgrade is available, he wants to take advantage of it. So we'll we'll spin this one, we'll open it up, we'll take a look, and then uh, we'll see what a 300 some hour gearbox looks like inside. All right, so we got the screws out. Put four of them in in these uh, these different holes that help. Those are put in there to design for pushing the gearbox apart. We'll push it apart and then we'll see what it looks like inside. It's got a lot of hours, so Dean's probably flying it harder than anyone. This will be a good testimonial. All right, well, let's just take these back out and then we can take a peek. Pretty easy to work on these things if you ever had to. It's probably going to be dirty, but other than that, that's not bad at all. All right, let's uh, I'm gonna clean that up just with a little bit of solvent, and we'll take a look at all the components. All right, before we clean it, there's a little coating on bearings and stuff, but basically the oil itself is as clean as can be. So it's all just a kind of a coating. Must be using a little bit of a reddish oil too, it looks like. All right, let's clean her up and take a look at the components. All right, so as you can see, this whatever you saw there, it looked a little grungy. It's just uh, surface coating, just from the oil having been in the gearbox. And everything cleans up like brand new. You can see it on this here. Even the gears, they're absolutely perfect. I have to ask Dean what he's using for gear oil because it's a little bit different looking, but it could also be just because of the number of hours that that this has been. Uh, yep, everything. So now you look at the study the gears and all that. We'll do that in detail, but preliminary looks all brand new. All right, so we got the back plate cleaned up. Now we're just gonna, uh, just because it's here, these bearings are absolutely perfect, but gearbox is going back to New Zealand so we might as well just throw in a set of bearings <clears throat> the uh, uh, gear is, is perfect there's nothing wrong with the gear we'll put the bearing in there one nice thing uh, is you can see how the gearbox is is doweled very precisely to the front housing and there's no fretting corrosion as in you know movement between parts it's like day one so there's absolutely no motion between the pieces. These are just the jacking marks that we have when we pull it apart. And yeah, so everything, bearings, gear, all of it new. We'll put a new uh, input seal just since it's apart. And then uh, we'll reuse the back housing and then he gets the, the new front housing because that's essentially what is the turbo upgrade for a 130. Of course, the turbo engine also has a different back plate. We have populated a uh, front housing over here with the uh, dual bearings in the middle, high speed bearing there, uh, bigger bearings up front. And then uh, now that's gonna be mated to the back plate once we get new bearings in it.